Hey, 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 welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. If you're returning, welcome back. <laughs> if you are new, welcome and thank you for joining me. I hope you would consider subscribing. Um, it would I would really, really appreciate it. It would really help me out a lot. So this is gonna be part two of my three-part um pop-up shop series. Um, this event, I mean this video almost didn't happen because I had said earlier I am not going to this event. As you can see. I injured myself I almost cut the whole tip of my finger off um, and it's just been hurting like and you know trying to get ready for this event I just keep bumping it and it's just so it, it's just been hurting my head started hurting and I'm like Ugh. but I'm gonna do it <laughs> I'm gonna do it I will not let this win right so anyway let's jump right into the video so I'm gonna show you some of the things that I take with me to the pop-up shop to make my life a lot easier um, I don't have everything in here because some stuff is already in my car because when I um, got it from my storage I just left it in the car I'm not gonna pull that stuff out so I will have you um, a whole video or a picture or whatever tomorrow um, of my actual setup but right now, I'm just going to go over a few things that I take with me that make my life easier. So, first things first is the money, right? <laughs> we all go to pop-up shops for money. Now, money is not everything, of course, because sometimes, well, I'm not going to say money and everything. We all go there to make money. That's the reason why we have these businesses. That's the reason why we sign up for these pop-up shops. But sometimes, um, like the networking and the people that you meet there, that's that's way that's worth way more than the money you can make there but anyway <laughs> since we want to make money let's talk about money so the first thing you need you have to be able to accept all forms of payment period like because you just never know what um what people have some people use cash you know some people only want to use cash app some people you know it's just it just all depends so you got to be prepared to take all forms of payment so one thing i have is this cash box so um my mom bought me this one from amazon but they have these at Walmart. It's the same brand because I had one already. She didn't know I had one, so she bought me one. So they're like uh, ten dollars. Um, so what I don't really like about this thing, it's so small right here. Like you cannot put no no money in there for real. Like no no bills. You can put change up there, but that's it. I don't know what they expect you to put right there. But anyway, so you need money, of course. So I always have uh like small bills. I normally have a hundred dollars in small bills, but I think I got eighty dollars here in uh ones, fives, and tens. Um, so that that should be enough, right? So that's that. Um, I normally carry my fanny pack. I hardly ever use this thing, but I'm I'm gonna start using that. Um, so that's that. I also have um this paypal credit card reader this is not the chip reader this is just a regular um credit card reader once um they used to give these away free when i switched my account from a personal account to a business account they actually sent me this for free and they did sell them on wall um amazon for like 30 dollars um so since this one still worked i just haven't got the chip one yet because actually i thought they was going to send me that one for free too but no you actually have to pay for that one so um <laughs> i have this one um, and it works perfectly. You just uh, plug it into your phone right there, and you have to have the um, pay 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 here app or something like that. I also have this um, Shopify uh, chip and swipe reader. So um, of course I have my website through Shopify. Shopify used to give these free as well. Um, when I first started my website, it was giving these away free. I didn't get one. Um, I didn't really read the description. Um, I thought it was just for um, like brick and mortar stores because actually a few stores that I shop at they have these they use these exact same one so I didn't really read the description but it's basically what I need for my pop-up shop because one thing about this when you download the Shopify POS system and you actually um, take payments like that it actually updates your inventory on your website now for me that's really not a big deal because i make everything that i have on my website but for some people that really need to keep track of their inventory this is really really helpful so um i just got this uh like tuesday so um i tried it already i bought something for myself so i know how it works because i hate to get there um at the pop-up shop and then don't know how to work it so um i tried it already so my other forms of payment, actually it's just PayPal and Cash App, but it is, um, I have these keychains. So I made these keychains myself. Um, I have a Glowforge, so I cut the actual keychain out 
and I do sublimation. So I actually printed um, my QR codes with sublimation paper, sublimation ink, and I just pressed it on there. So those are the type of forms. Those are the forms of payment I take. I also can do Venmo if I need to, <laughs> but um, I don't see why I would have to do that, but I can do that if I need to. I just don't have any special thing for that, but I can do that. Um, another thing I have here is my business cards. So these are my business cards. Um, I just actually got these done today. Um, I got a new, a, a new logo like two weeks ago and I actually know a lady who designs business cards and I was going to reach out to her to design it, but I'm such a procrastinator and I kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. And this morning when I woke up, I'm like, I need to get some new business cards. So <laughs> I got these from Staples and it's very simple. I just have my logo on the back. That's my new logo. And on the front, I just have my business name. You know my name my phone number my email address i have my website and this qr code actually goes directly to my website um i also got some business card. oh did i say i got these from staples anyway i got these from staples <laughs> i only got 250 because again i want someone else to design my business cards and make it like really pop so i just needed this for right now so i got 250 and um i got the glossy paper so these were like 20 i think i paid like 23 dollars for these i'm not sure i can't remember but i think i paid like 23 dollars um and this is my first time getting um thank you cards so um i got these from walgreens i can't remember where i got the idea from to get these done at walgreens um but it's just photo paper and of course it's a lot cheaper because at staples they do have thank you cards and you get like they're expensive put it like that so i got a hundred of these for like ten dollars because they were 19.99 and then i had um a 50 percent off coupon walgreens always have 50 percent off and um it basically just had my business information on there and i have a um a code at the bottom so i'm not giving this to everybody um you know how some people just hand out these uh these little cards and hand out their business cards i'm only giving these to the people that buy something because it does have a coupon code on here um so this is only going to be for the people who buy something. And again, this QR code takes you directly to my website. So that's what I have in there. Um, oh, and I have this um, this business card holder to, um, to hold my business cards. Um, I also have this little sign. So I was going to do um, an email sign-up sheet. Um, you know, try to get new customers, get their email address and things like that. But I forgot I had made this sign. I made this sign for me a few weeks ago. This is, um, this is made out of acrylic. So I have a Glowforge. So I made this on my Glowforge. And, um, basically it's just all these QR codes work. So this is shop with me. This take you directly to my website. So instead of doing the email sign up sheet, I'm just going to have them to scan this code right here. And so it takes them directly to my website and they can put their email address in. And then these two down here are just for my social media, for Facebook and Instagram. Should have put my YouTube on there. <laughs> so basically this is the little stand. Um, I'm going to uh, glue these two pieces together. So this is a stand. You just Put them together like that and you stick this down in there and it just sits nicely on your table um i also have hand sanitizer i keep hand sanitizer even before the pandemic um i always have hand sanitizer on my table um i used to like kind of uh put vinyl on it and like dress it up for the holidays like i would have the green one and put the grinch face on it for christmas and stuff like that but i don't know i've really done it in a while i also have pans in here um i have bags like different types of bags so i have these little organza bags so i do oh my finger is thriving <laughs> it's thriving y'all so um i do like earrings and keychains you know small stuff it can go in these little bags like this um i think i got these with well, this particular one i think it came from the dollar tree but you can buy these um you can buy like packs of 100 from like Amazon. It'll be a little bit cheaper. Um, I have these bags right here. These are like self-selling bags. Um, and so they have like a little hole at the top. And I have this. Um, this is one thing that I use to put, hang, put my earrings and things on. So you can just hang this on there with whatever you put in there. So I make, um, I do uh, buttons and um, patches and keychains and, you know, a lot of different things. So um that that can fit in here 
uh, I also have like different types of uh, shopping bags I guess you would say like I have these um, I have this this bag right here I have a lot of different bags like these so I have some in here that's Easter related um, I just have I always do like the different holidays or the seasons or whatever I always get bags to um, coordinate I know a lot of people stick with bags and stuff um, that's their brand colors but I just like to go with like the holidays or the season I don't know I just do <laughs> so so that's what I have in there so again, I've showed you one of my props. This is, um, and I got this from either Michaels or Hobby Lobby. I probably got it from Hobby Lobby when they had it 50% off. Um, so I have that. This is another one of my props right here. This is a wooden crate from Walmart. So um, it actually comes in brown and I spray painted it black. Um, I have two, well now I have four of these because I just bought um, two more and I bought two smaller ones so i just use this to give my items on my table a little height right so this is um my tablecloth so i have three folding tables i purchased them from walmart they're six feet tables um i'll show you guys that uh when i get to the pop-up shop but they're six feet tables um they fold in half so this is a spandex tablecloth i actually bought this tablecloth from staples I paid $30 for this table. Actually, I paid $90 because I had to buy three of them. Now, they have these tablecloths on Amazon, and they're a lot cheaper. I got it from Staples because once I decided I wanted this tablecloth, I was in Staples, and they had them in there, so I just bought it. But before I got these tablecloths, I had a piece of fabric from Joann's. So I went in there, and I was like, hey, can you cut me, um, I think it was seven yards of fabric it was either seven or eight yards of fabric and it covers my table it have some what it don't really cover um like the width of, it covers the length it don't really cover the width but i let it hang down in the front i don't really care if it hang down in the back because i'm the only one that's back there so that didn't really bother me but i had to hang down in the front so of course nobody could see what was under my table so um that's an option a cheaper option it's just to get some fabric cut um, you can get it when it's on sale. You can always use a coupon. They always got a coupon. I was going to make me a table runner, but again, this finger has had me like really out of commission since Wednesday. <laughs> so I haven't done that, but I'll probably do that for my next pop-up shop. So, um, everything else that I really need to show that I, that I use and take to the pop-up shop like my tables my chairs my stands my racks and all of that stuff is in my car um because once i took it out my storage unit i just left it in my car i'm not gonna bring that in the house just to put it back in the car so i'll show you guys that tomorrow so let me show you some of the things that i will have tomorrow at the pop-up shop so this is one of my um, most popular things it is a I don't know if you guys can see that. It says, watch me tie my shoe. So this is to help um, your little ones learn how to tie their shoe. So um, I'm going to have some of these. I'm um, also, well, I was going to have buttons because I always have buttons. But I don't I don't know where my buttons are. So normally um, after every event, I throw my buttons in this basket. But um, these are some that, that have just been in here for a while. Um, I'm not even sure why they're in here. But the ones that I had packaged up, I'm not sure what it is so i don't know so i'm I'm probably gonna package these up well i guess i can take them with me tomorrow and package them while i'm sitting there um because i'm not gonna do them tonight because i'm kind of tired um so oh i have these little boxes i bought these boxes from dollar tree because i do um earring paint kits so it's just a pretty little box nothing fancy just a pretty little box that um that i'm gonna put my earring paint kits in but actually I was supposed to cut the earrings yesterday and I didn't so I'm probably not even gonna have that tomorrow I'll see what all I have cut but I'm probably not gonna have that so that's that I also have um some masks so these are some masks that I did with like transfers and then I have masks in here that um that I actually sewed because when I first started doing masks I was sewing them so um I'm probably going to put these so uh, sometimes I have like a discount um, basket or a discount box so I think I'm gonna put these in there because actually some of these masks like um, have been in here for a while and I'm actually I'm just tired of looking at them so I'm ready to get rid of them so that's probably what I'll do for that 
So I also have t-shirts. So I, I carry a lot of my stuff in these little uh, containers like this. So um, these are some of the t-shirts that I will have. And these t-shirts are on hangers. And the reason these t-shirts are on hangers is because I'm going to hang these on my racks. So this is some of my t-shirts. This one say um, protect black women. Um, so yep, I have those. Um, but my other t-shirts are I don't want to knock nothing. Over. So I normally this is how I pack my t-shirts. So I have them um like this. I have them folded in the bag, and these are the t-shirt bags. I purchased these bags from Amazon. So I have them folded like this. You can see the size right there, but I also have um, the sticker on it with the size. Um, I purchased these sticks from Amazon as well. So that's what I will have tomorrow. Um, I also will have some of these pillows, right? So I've been making these pillows all week and these are great for um, Easter baskets, you know, to fill your baskets, fill your kids' baskets. So that's one thing that I've been doing. Um, I'll also have paint kits. So these are the kid paint kits. I've already put some of them together. So I'm just gonna show you these two. So this is the boy bunny. This is the girl bunny. So basically it's just um, a canvas. This is a nine by 12 canvas. You have six different paint colors, two paint brushes. And in this little bag, there is hand sanitizer and a little pack of Starburst. So that's how my paint kit best um paint kits will look. I also have um let's see, these are other I have to put these in the bag, but I do have some um for adults or teenagers. Um I have that one, um, and I have this one. Um, I think the rest of them are in there because I was just doing those. I actually so I did these on my Glowforge. So I don't know if any of you guys that's watching this have a Glowforge, but I did this on my Glowforge. And if you do have a Glowforge, you can um, do these, uh, score it, score it, use the thin natural uh, leather setting, I think it is. And I do 230 speed and 10 power. So, so that's that. Um, this is one of the baskets that I'm doing. So I haven't put the basket together yet. Um, I have to like put everything in there and um, put the shrink wrap on it. Like I need to go to sleep. So basically it is a pillow. So I'm gonna show you everything that's gonna go in it, right? So it's a pillow. Um, Cause this event I'm doing, it is um, for Women's uh, History Month or whatever. So um, it's a pillow. So I have a journal or, you know, you just write, it says beauty and brains. So that's going to go in there. And I also have a pen to go with, to go with the journal. Um, then I have these cute inspirational cards to color. So this is just a pack of cards. It is, um, I think it's like 40 cards in here. So um this is what the first one looked like so it's basically just a pack and you color on these cards and i got these from the px if any of you are military and you know about the px i got these from the px so that's going to go in there Ugh. that's going to go in there as well as this pack of colored pencils and a little hand sanitizer so that's going to go in there and it's going to go in this basket right so i have um skittles i have chocolate um i have these are little egg tootsie rolls and i have two lollipops in there so i just have to put it all together and put put shrink wrap on it um so that's a few of the things that i will have on my table one thing i forgot to show you guys is what i have in this little thing so this is my little toolbox <laughs> i got this from the dollar tree so these are a lot of my um really must haves so i have scissors in here i have um tape so i have these two tapes i think i need to get yeah i have these two i think these two are good no i'm gonna i'm gonna get some double-sided tape to go in here as well so i have these two um tapes i have um push pins and i have thumbtacks 
So sometimes you can um, like hang stuff up, and sometimes like sometimes they'll let you put stuff on the wall. I try not to put stuff on on walls because you don't want to damage the walls. But um, I have been able to like stick stuff to my table because these uh, push pins they will actually i could actually stick them like you know through my tablecloth and on my table and hang some stuff which i may have to do something creative tomorrow because the pillows that i'm doing the pillows are, i have them in this little bag so i need to hang them somewhere so initially like i said i was going to be outside so i have little hooks to go on my canopy that i can hang these from so i have to get creative tomorrow to figure out how i'm going to display my pillows so i have this so i have um twine you never know when you're gonna need this because you can tie this from one place to another place you won't even have to do any damage to anybody's wall you can tie this and hang stuff on it um so that's something good to have i have um this uh floral floral wire not sure why i have this in here but you never know i might need it um i have clothes pins i have clothes pins <laughs> um i have so i have this little thing i don't really use this i used to have um a cork cork board um and i use this but i don't use the cork board anymore so i have these s hooks so again tomorrow when i show you guys my racks um this is i put these on my racks and i hang my t-shirts on there sometimes sometimes i just hang my t-shirts from the rack but that's what this is for um i have zip ties so my racks are basically it's um it's the closet made shelf like um if you go to lowe's and the closet made shelves that you can actually put in your closet you have the different shelves so it's basically that so i have three of those and i put them like in a triangle and i zip tie them together All right and this is my wire cutter so when the events are over i can just snip these zip ties and take everything off and i also have two markers in here so that's what i have in there so this is things that helps me out oh i better put all my stuff back in here so these are some of the things that really help me out um so and i think that's it i think that's it um everything else um i will have tomorrow because i will do another video tomorrow once i get there and set up um this is my journal my i meant my planner i'm sorry my planner um i'm not really good at planning but <laughs> i try to plan so i can like be better organized um so i like write down things so i take this with me all the time so i can like jot down stuff you know write down notes because i've been doing events for a while but i'm always learning something new every time you know so all right so that's that so until tomorrow it's gonna be tomorrow in a few hours <laughs> so until tomorrow i will see you great people later <laughs>